Okay, I'm getting ready to start phase two of uh, finishing the basement. Uh, two years ago, I finished off the gym here. And uh, we're going to continue on the walls, blocking out that pipe. And here's the space. I'm getting it cleaned up. Trying to clear out as much as I can. I'm going to have to work around some stuff here. I have an extra couch and mirror, but I'll be able to work around it and do sections at a time. I have a bunch of uh, two by fours stacked over here that I'll be using. Uh, first step, I'm going to uh, reroute some of these wires so I have a place to attach the studs underneath the joists. So I have to clean up a little bit of that. There's some more wiring over here. I'm going to have to uh, put a couple cross members in between those two joists, little two by fours to uh, attach the wall to. And this is the space. What it'll be is a room between the uh, wall, and then I'll drop another wall between these lally columns. And uh, so this whole area will be finished off. And then this will be a separate room, way in the back will remain storage. Okay, today's January 15th, 2017, and I'm gonna start beginning uh, phase two of finishing my basement. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll recall that I finished off half of it. Um, it was, it's been about two years ago now uh, to make my home gym, which is this whole area. All cleaned up, painted, sheetrocked. So I'm gonna continue on with the walls here. And I've pretty much just been doing some prep work. What does that prep work involve? Well, I had to put these uh, little cross members in between the joists so I have something for the wall to attach to. I dropped the plumb line down to see where I'm gonna clear the drain pipe. Once I had a straight line, I put some uh, floor plates in. The way I install these, I'll put a little bit of uh, adhesive on the bottom, line them up with my chalk line that I have, and then I'll drive in some concrete nails with a, uh, with a power gun, which I'll show you in a bit as we walk around. So here's the rest of the area I'm gonna be finishing off. It's pretty much gonna be one main big room. There'll be a little nook here, you could see uh, from the boards that are laying on the floor that are all glued down and nailed down into the concrete already. There's gonna be a separate little room here. There'll be an open doorway and then it'll hide the sub pump, the, um, uh, the electric panel. And uh, what I did earlier today was I marked out all the lines for the walls along the, uh, along the foundation. And I have some weights sitting on them right now for the adhesive to set up. But like I said, I did also drive in some concrete nails. Some other prep work that I had to do involved some of the electrical here. You see this big 200 and uh, 20 line, 240 line coming out. That is a line that uh, feeds my backyard to power up my pool equipment, all my backyard landscaping equipment. It had to be put in a couple of years ago. And when the electrician put it in, he had solid uh, conduit tacked underneath the joists. Well, I wanted that up and out of the way. So what I had to do was I pulled all the line, the electric line from the uh, panel, and I pulled it out all the way out into the backyard and I put some flex line in there, which you could see on top of the foundation. I shoved it all back. I'll get rid of those extra clamps. But now I'll have a place to attach the wall without that getting in the way. And I'll have a place, the ceiling's nice and clean, so I can put a uh, sheetrock ceiling, drop ceiling, whatever I decide to do. So more uh, floors over here. Again, I got a lot of weights sitting. It's just sitting on top of all the pressurized, uh, the, or I'm sorry, the pressure treated two by fours just to hold them down. Here's the, uh, here's the gun to put the concrete nails in. It's pretty simple. You put a nail in the front, you load it up with a 22 uh, caliber bullet basically, which is, that doesn't have a bullet in it, it's just the gunpowder. Give it a good whack with a hammer and it'll nail right into the concrete. Now on this side, to get the wall, I had to also put a couple uh, little cross members in. Now the way I did this, uh, because I didn't have another joist to attach to back there, I uh, cut them to size and each of those is nailed straight down into the sill plate sitting on top of the foundation. And then I 
nailed them into this first joist. So I'll have a place to attach the wall. And again, I dropped the plumb line so I could have the floor plate exactly where I want it, half inch off the wall to give myself a little clearance. And I'm gonna get ready to start building some walls now. Uh, continuing on with the prep work here, I'm um, again in the back of the basement on the back wall where I put these cross members in. There was also uh, a lot of old insulation up there. Um, I wanted to check for drafts. I pulled out all the old insulation around the windows. was real drafty. Uh, there was some gaps from the settling of the house and, and whatnot. So uh, a couple months ago, I had sprayed some foam up there to, to block them off. And that was a problem on both windows. I did that. There's no more... Uh, there's no more drafts, there's no more vents or anything, but I wanted to clean up really good because mice were getting in and there were some droppings up there. So I vacuumed it clean and I bought some new insulation you saw in the other video laying on the floor there. And what I'm going to do is, uh, now that it's all cleaned up, I'm going to shoot a little bit more foam in there right along the sill plate, really seal everything off good, uh, put some new, shove some new insulation up there and, uh, and be done with, be done with that after I know that there's no more cracks. So. Um, that's going to be uh, step one before I start building some walls.